You're looking at the last broadcast quality dunk of Tayshawn Cherry's prep career. Cherry adding former Foothills Christian Knight to his list of former titles, as in former USC Trojan commit and former St. Augustine Saint. Tayshawn now with the distinction of parting company with three schools in less than one full basketball season. Yeah, that's right. The senior forward is no longer a member of the Knight basketball program. On the night before the Knights play Mission Bay for the section open division championship. Cherry tweeting a long goodbye, su suggesting the decision was his. As a player and as a person, I just feel the threats and hatred that I get on and off the court are too overwhelming for me and my family, and this is the best decision for us. Dollars to donuts. There is more to the saga than meets the tweet. KUSI unable to confirm whether or not Tayshawn is still enrolled at Foothills Christian School. That issue could hinder the five-star athlete at his attempt at seeking refuge at Arizona State, the school he chose after he was linked to Tony Bland's pay-for-play scandal at USC. Bottom line, Tayshawn's desire to lower the social media temperature will likely have the opposite effect as the list of former schools continues to grow. All right, we start with the boys' basketball over at San Marcos. The Knights hosting St. Augustine for state playoff seeding. This is Elijah Randall getting by the defense, scoring two of his six. Later, it's Ryan Haggard laying it in. He would finish with eight points for the Knights, but Agbo, or excuse me, Ch Chibozo Agbo would uh, hit a jumper at tight at the end of it to, at the end of the third. Then it's Tyson McWilliams over that. The sophomore had a game high 14 points, leading the comeback for the Saints. The final 56-48, St. Augustine. Division five championship at LCC Southwest taking on San Diego Academy. Here's one shining moment for the Cavaliers. Kevin Early scores on the pretty jumper. That's when the fun starts uh, for San Diego ends and the Raider party begins, Jorge Castillo with the steal and score right there. Your player of the night is Diego Edwards, reeling in the pass and breaking through the paint. His 28-point performance capped by that right there. The final 77-38 Raiders, your D5. Oh, watch this, watch this dunk. There, now the sound. Really happy right now. I think coach, we're waiting for it, we're waiting for it. We fought hard for it, and we got it. What does this one mean for not just you and your team, but for all you guys down there and your whole community? This is very exciting. I want to thank them for all the support. They're my friends, and thanks. Boys Basketball State Seeding Consolation Game, La Jolla Country Dave taking on Vista. The Tories, Ben Doherty, finishes with a team high eight points. But the Panthers, Isaiah Morris, adds 18 of his own, number five, spinning through the paint. And it's matched by teammate Micaiah Morris. He has 18, the final 71, 52, Vista on top. Heading back to LCC for the girls' D5 championship. Hoover taking on Madison as a back and forth battle all the way through the second half. Here's Luisha Butler off the loose ball, taking it all the way in for two. Then it's Namea Tsunami with the step back three. Almost starts a tsunami right there with a slim lead. But no time to celebrate as Alani Nunez gets a long pass and scores to tie it up. And then Megan Irwin hits the game winning free throws down the stretch. Madison wins their first girls basketball title in the final 54 49. We came this far, we've never been this far. We won CIF and we've never won CIF in Madison history, so we just put history and it's pretty exciting to be honest. You just had to block them out, it's just like practice, nothing other. You just had to like block them out and we knew those free throws would get us this win, so we had to stay focused. Girls Hoops at San Marcos, the Lady Knights playing host to Cathedral Catholic to determine state playoff seedings. This is Zoe Clark with the nice assist and Naomi Gibson for two of her seven. A little later, it's Mozzie Harris laying it in. She finishes with a team high nine points, but the San Marcos Knights also get nine points from Rachel Roberts, including the big three there. Final score, San Marcos 42, Cathedral Catholic 30. And state seeding consolation game. Santa Fe Christian taking on Westview. First quarter, the Wolverines, Mac Orbello scores a game high 15 points. And the Eagles, Emma Dudley, with two nice assists in the paint to go along with their 13 points. In the second quarter, Santa Fe Christian's Kylie Steele gets the impressive steal. And the transition defense right there. Third quarter, the Eagles, Ashley Kowak, with her own steal and, and scores two of her game high 15. Santa Fe Christian, 65-48 winners. We finished with girls soccer. West Hills and Poway faced off for an entry to the SoCal Regional Tournament. First half, Poway freshman Trini Coker with a nice volley to put the Titans up 1-0. Second half, the Titans again. Camden O'Donnell puts the Poway oh, Titans up 3-1. 
West Hill's not going away, though. Captain Taylor Gomez tickles the twine, but it's not enough. Poway hangs on for a 3-2 win. 